the São Paulo University Choir is warming up, singing in their bus on their way to perform, as they usually do. But there is something unusual about today's venue. It's an overcrowded, run-down jail on the outskirts of Greater São Paulo. For the singers, mostly from the city's middle class, it will be their first time inside the prison. I don't think it's going to be dangerous or anything like it. But I think once I get there, you feel the energy and I don't know. I think it will be pleasant for them, a pleasant experience to listening to a choral performing and I'm just glad to be a part of it. You know? For this performance, the choir will be singing with metal bars, separating members from their audience. But once the music begins, the barrier seems to fade as these men dance and sing to the sound of old Brazilian rock tunes. This is where the prisoners spend all their time while in jail here. You can imagine how tedious it can get. So, any distraction is welcome. I admire the people from this choir for their confidence and their courage to come here to sing for us. Everybody talks about the jail, but few people come here to see what it actually is. The criminal judge who allowed the performance says it helps to rebuild the relationship between society and the inmate. I think this kind of assistance for the prisoners helps them to have other perspectives, to see other horizons, and it shows them that society is not repaying their violence with more violence. The prisoners also made an impression on their visitors. Everyone was with an open heart. There was this old man singing and dancing with us. It's just an amazing, amazing feeling and very, very honest. For the prisoners, a break from their tough daily reality. For the choir members, a new life perspective and a window into a very different world. Paulo Cabral, CCTV, Carapicuíba, Brazil.